Taking up a craft is a fun way to explore one's creative side while getting to learn a new hobby. Meisner Sewing and Vacuum Centers is Northern California's premier sewing, quilting, and embroidery destination with hundreds of classes, top quality machines, expert service technicians, and more. We've got our friends live at the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festival, and we're speaking with Raylene Salazar, media manager for Meisner. Hello, Raylene. Hi, how are you? We're excited. We're doing good. We're excited to have you on. So tell our viewers about the festival that's taking place. Well, we're here at Cal Expo in Sacramento at the Quilt Craft and Sewing Festival. And what we have here are vendors from all over the country with different quilting, crafting, and sewing things. Uh, a lot of them doing demonstrations. We have free classes. It's just eye candy for anybody who likes to be creative and anyone who's not. It's very inspirational for people that are looking to get into some kind of a craft or sewing. It's a great place to start. Okay, I was going to ask, yeah, so like for someone like myself who's a newbie who wants to start dabbling into these types of crafts, this is the type of event you can go to as well. Absolutely. I mean, you know, that's the one thing that's wonderful about these particular shows is it's any skill level, whether you're a brand new beginner or you're experienced, there's something out here for everyone. And one of the really neat things that this particular show does is there are free classes all day, every day, where vendors are actually showing you techniques that they do so you can kind of see what you think you might want to explore further. And those classes are all free with your admission ticket. And another great thing about this particular show is that once you buy an admission ticket, it's good for all three days of the event so you can come and go as you please oh wow well, that's awesome we have a colleague here that goes to your festival every single year so there's definitely a dedicated fan base there and it's great oh, to know that it's, it's welcoming newbies as well <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what are the dates always we love the new people yeah. yes we <laughs> It, uh, it opens today, Thursday, and we're uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. On uh, Thursday and Friday from 10 to 5, and Saturday from 10 to 4. And they can purchase tickets either here at the door, or they can go online at quiltcraftsew.com and purchase it ahead of time, so that way they avoid that long ticket line when they get here. Yeah, and we're looking at some of the beautiful artwork right now. Why is it a good hobby to take on something like sewing or crafting or quilting? Well, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, back in, in the olden days, we say, you know, we learned how to do a lot of this <laughs> stuff in school. And it's, it's relaxing, it's very rewarding, and, you know, there's just something special about giving a gift that you put your heart into, you know, versus going to the store and buying something ready-made. And it's, it's just, you know, what was really exciting for us in this particular industry is, you know, during the pandemic, we had a lot of people who learned to sew for the very first time when they were making masks, and now they have... Uh, they have a growing interest so we now have a lot of new quilters and sewers based on that because they got a little taste and went wow this is fun I want to do more yeah we're seeing everybody get set up there tell us about the vendors are, are the vendors local coming from all over you're, you're going to find vendors from all over the country. For example, the one he's in front of here now, Terry Sue's Toffee, they're from Chico, California. Um, but we've got vendors from all over the country. Actually, I myself am from Arizona. Wow. Um, we have a lot of California vendors, but a lot of Arizona. We have Idaho. We have uh, Nevada. I mean, they're from all over the place. Hi. Yeah, uh, Raylene, <laughs> first of all, I didn't know that and again, there was you know, food this, there. This you can't just slip in the toffee on me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is amazing food, by the way. I mean, it's so good. And then, you know, we have, like I say, it's not just quilting. It's not just sewing. We have, this is a great booth that he just passed by that's all quilt making, or purse making supplies, rather. We definitely have, you know, the, the goodies to keep your energy level up while you're here on the floor. And then we have this beautiful vendor here that, you know, one of many that has just an array of gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. So not only are you going to find unique fabrics you wouldn't find in your local stores, but you're going to get that in inspiration you need especially for you know the more experienced people it's a great way to stock up on all their supplies so that uh, if this weather holds and we can't get outside and garden at least you can be inside quilting and sewing exactly <laughs> I love that and you were saying uh, we're talking about quilting and sewing this is something a lot of people can take on whether they're new or they've been an expert on this is this something we could even maybe teach kids to get involved with you know, that's the best way to get people into quilting is start them as children. I mean, children are really 
good at learning new things. And I will tell you that my niece was started uh, sewing when she was three years old. I mean, you can teach wow. them very, very young. And it's something that even if they do it as a child and they get away from it for a while, it's a skill they're always going to have with them for the rest of their life. Yeah, and I feel like even boys, by yes, the way, yes. are young men too. We have a lot of boy quilters. I love that. Everybody can do it. And I think there's something special yeah, people about often, it. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Yeah. Now, I was going to say also, you know, a lot of times people forget that the original tailors were men, not women. So we have a lot of uh, male and female quilters and sewers. So that's always wonderful to see. Yeah, I think it's great. Raylene, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm going to let our viewers know where they can go get more information so that they can attend. To find out more, you can visit quiltcraftsew.com.